Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com. You know, I made a video on uh, Derek Chisora's suspension where I um, expressed um, some concern over the fact that he got his license revoked. And uh, it seemed to have struck a chord here in our online boxing community. Got a lot of emails back that disagreed with me strongly and um, I thought now would be a great time to kind of have a mailbag on this issue just to share other people's thoughts. I realize mine is just one thought in our boxing community and I wanted some other voices to be heard here on the issue. Let me read some of the responses I got back. Some of the YouTube followers, I'll identify them with their responses. These are public responses that have been posted on YouTube. I don't think I'm betraying anyone's privacy. The first is from, and forgive my pronunciation, Peter Dmitriev, right? P-E-T-E-R-D-M-I-T-R-I-Y-E-V. And he writes, Dwyer, this is one of the rare times I disagree with you for the following reasons. You named many examples of things other fighters have done that are on par or worse than Chisora's actions. Yet you have to understand something. Chisora did all of these things and more within a very compressed time frame, within a day of each other, which seems to indicate a rapid mental decline, downward spiral or respect toward the rules and towards decency. Okay. Um, Derek Chisora's performance at the weigh-in of the Klitschko fight, uh, right before the fight when he spits in Vladimir Klitschko's face and after the fight when he confronts um, David Hay, I'll agree that they were all unsportsmanlike. No question about it. But a boxing license revocation that's indefinite? I Let's agree to disagree. I'll concede that many here agree with you. Here's, here's another person. This is Delta Abonix. And he or she writes, it's just the accumulation of crimes DC, Derek Chisora, has done. He has bitten a previous opponent's ear during a fight and got a small ban for that. Then with three incidents and what is the biggest fight in his career, it just tipped the scales over. I think he should have been given a year or two max and his purse should have been given to charity. One dealing with domestic abuse for irony, of course. Right now, let me just say this. You know, I do consider the ear biting against, I believe, Paul Buten. That video's up on YouTube uh, from 2009, I believe, to be the most serious Derek Chisora transgression. But keep in mind, the ear biting, he didn't bite off Butin's ear. I know that sounds awful, but Butin wasn't maimed. And Chisora has already been disciplined for that. Now, I'll buy the argument that um, the revocation can consider prior disciplinary action taken against Derek Chisora, right? The Transgressions can be viewed as cumulative, right? If you have been hit on the wrist the first time, the second time, I agree, the punishment should be more severe. But the Butin incident happened years ago. Chisora hasn't bitten anyone else's ear in the ring, right? In fact, the problems with the Klitschko's all happen outside of the ring. Right? The slap, that's not in the ring. Spitting at Vladimir, that's not in the ring. 
The David Hay incident, that's not in the ring, right? That's boorish behavior outside of the ring. And I'm just not sure if uh, behavior outside of the ring should have resulted in a indefinite revocation. I mean, it's unclear right now whether Derek Chisora will ever get a chance to fight in the United Kingdom again, right? And so, um, you know my view. I'm going to continue to um, read some of the other feedback I got here. And most people um, seem to have disagreed with me, quite frankly. Here is another person. This is from Hawker Mustang. And here she writes, I think it is good Derek got in trouble. The worst thing he did was spit in Vlad's face. That put the whole fight in jeopardy. A lesser man would have broken Derek's jaw for that stupid blank. Derek Chisora should behave like a pro and not like a thug in the prison yard. Then he goes on to say, and Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. was never asked to submit urine and neither were the other boxers on the night. So Chavez did nothing wrong. Okay, first, let's point out that if the worst thing Derek Chisora did was spit in Vladimir Klitschko's face, wow, uh, is that enough to revoke a boxing license? You know, doesn't that kind of underscore the fact that while Derek Chisora did some awfully stupid things, that um, these really don't amount to an indefinite revocation of a boxing license? Let me also point out, too, that spitting in a guy's face, is that really as serious as driving under the influence of alcohol? I mean, uh, what's the risk? He spits in Vladimir Klitschko's face. Okay, Vladimir's face gets wet, right? Um, if he hopped in a vehicle like Chavez did and is driving under the influence, you could kill people. You know, I would, I would argue that if we're going to consider outside fight behavior, um, being boorish at a post-fight press conference or spitting in an opponent's or future opponent's face, I would say that pales in comparison to driving under the influence. And the fact that Chavez Jr. hasn't been disciplined for that. In fact, fighters really don't get disciplined for that. They don't have their licenses revoked for, you know, driving, you know, DUI arrests, right? Tells me that there's a bit of a double standard here if he's going to get his license revoked for, you know, spitting at a guy in the ring before a fight, um, as well as after a fight, again, not in the fight, but after the fight, approaching, you know, uh, another boxer. Okay, let's continue. Um, this is from Brown Sexy Slim. Spelled B R W N S X Y S L I M. Actually, excuse me, S L M. And he or she writes, What they need to do is feed him to Vladimir Klitschko in a non title fight so that Vladimir can beat the crap out of him. <laughs> Sounds good. The problem is then you're just encouraging the behavior. Right. Then, of course, whoever the heavyweight champ is, is going to have guys like Derek Chisora try to victimize him so that, you know, a, a fight could be ordered. And, of course, that would get Derek Chisora a big payday for boorish behavior. Right. Here is uh, one from Boxing Greatness. He didn't do anything wrong. Let's be clear. It is every person's right to defend themselves, and Chisora had threatened to break Hayes' jaw prior to this event. And during the conference, it is Chisora who speaks Hayes' name first, not Hay. He openly tells Hay he will give him two slaps. Chisora has bitten off a guy's ear before, and the slap and spit and brawl, it's just not about the Munich incident. How can a guy who bites people's ears and causes these issues not have his license revoked. Well, all I can say is this. Whatever the trash talk, and boxing is the sport 
of trash talk, right? We all remember the Vladimir Klitschko, David Hay confrontation in a mall a couple years back, right? Boxing is a trash talk sport. Now, okay, David Hay felt threatened, defended himself. I'm not here to criticize him for that. But let me just say this. Let's remember that Derek Chisora didn't throw a punch until he got hit in the chest by David Hay. What exactly is he being penalized here for? Approaching David Hay? Approaching David Hay and not throwing a punch? Maybe he talked crap about beating David Hay uh, before he approached him. It's boxing. That's what guys do. And so it seems to me that Derek Chisora, after slapping Vitaly Klitschko in a pre-fight, you know, weigh-in where Vitaly's safe and Chisora didn't follow up on the slap, right? It was clear that the slap was to spur interest in the fight. And after spitting in Vladimir Klitschko's face before the fight, okay, he's being controversial there. And after approaching David Hay, you know what? Derek Chisora didn't throw a punch at Hay and didn't maim anyone. You know, maybe his behavior is boorish and insulting. Really? A revocation of his boxing license? I, you know, let me just say this too. If David Hay hits Derek Chisora and then grabs a tripod and accidentally hits Adam Booth, I'll agree that, you know, Derek Chisora contributed to the climate. But can you really say that Derek Chisora caused David Hay to hit Adam Booth with a tripod? I think I think that's a bit of a reach. I thought David Hay overreacted a little bit, and I think the British Boxing Board overreacted. Uh, I know I'm going to hear on it. I hope I do. I want to get your thoughts on all of this. Okay, here is Luke 7760. If he were anything more than mediocre... Then I think he could have got away with it. However, a boxer of Chisora's quality cannot afford to do what he done. There's too much BS going on in boxing with poor refereeing decisions, dodgy dealings, and letdowns. Along with what Chisora done, it cheapens the sport and puts people off. I don't care what people say it's a gentleman's sport, but it seems to be lowering itself to the same levels of MMA the way things are going. Okay, then find Chisora. Suspend him with some end date to the suspension. Okay, say, hey, you've cast a bad light on boxing. Okay, but to revoke his license? Come on. I mean, you know, here's another one. This is Owen Egg 17 He writes, I think the thing with Chisora is that he's so unhinged he scares people. Most of these other guys you mentioned who've done things that are frankly worse, Margarito, Chavez, don't have anything like that going on, right? It's unfortunate, but that probably led to the British board's overreaction, right? I agree. I think that um, boxing treats different people differently, right? It won't even force Chavez, quite frankly, <laughs> to fight Sergio Martinez, right? Uh, even though Martinez is the super champion under the same sanctioning body, right? If you're a superstar, uh, people look the other way. Mike Tyson literally bit off part of Evander Holofield's ear. He was able to continue his career, right? Obviously, if Derek Chisora were a charismatic champion, um, if he were an Ali or a Lennox Lewis, he'd probably be given certain consideration that he's not being given here. But isn't that really the problem? Right? Don't we need to stand up when boxing is using a double standard to unduly punish a guy for a string of semi-promotional behavior and, um, you know, behavior that's ungentlemanly, right? Even a year ban would have been infinitely better than an indefinite revocation, right? Don't you think? 
You know, Margarito, just to put it in perspective, didn't he get something like a year or two years for loaded gloves? You know, isn't that monumentally worse than this? You know, if if really the worst thing he did, according to one viewer, was spit in Vladimir Klitschko's face, if that's the worst thing he did, or if the worst thing he did was approach David Hay after threatening him, right? Um, aren't we jumping the gun a bit by treating him worse than Margarito got cheated, uh, got treated for actually cheating in a fight? You know, I um, think the worst thing Chisora did was the ear bite years ago, right? But it seems like he hasn't done anything else in the ring. And I thought boxing takes place in the ring. Anyway, um, let me hear from you. Um, let me just close with this one from... Who can't read it? Um, o eight three R O S O L O. He or she writes, "How about judges who rob a man of a great victory? Let's revoke their licenses." I know Juan Manuel Marquez would agree, right? Hey, well said, well said. But all I'm saying is, if we're gonna go down the revoke license road, and if you're gonna revoke licenses for spitting at a guy before a fight aren't you opening up the door to a whole lot of unintended consequences let me hear from you let's continue the conversation um, leave your comments for me here online and visit us at gamblersadvisory.com thanks for watching